decrease 50 pound by 20%. Right, let's imagine a bar. We we'll split it to 10. Then this whole bar would be 100%. Each piece would be 5. Because it's 10 of them to make 50. And I want to decrease it by 20%, so I want to get rid of a couple of these, because that is 20%. So that would leave me with just this amount here, and that amount here is 80%. Now the answer is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 pound, right? But I've just shown you, hopefully, that decreasing £50 by 20% is the same as doing 80% of £50, right? Now, 80% of £50, I can change percentage into a decimal by dividing by 100. So that would give me 0 0.8 times 50 would give me the same answer of £40. This method is called finding a multiplier to do a percentage increase or decrease. It allows us to do the sum in one step almost. Instead of having to do the percentage and then take it away or add it on, what I can do instead is I can think about this thing here being a multiplier. And how we find it is we always start with 100% and then we either add or take away the percentage that we are increasing or decreasing by. I'll do a second example to show that. So example two says increase £120 by 30%. So again, we can imagine, if we want to imagine this as a bar. So this time, this whole bar represents 100%, which is £120. Now I need another 30%, so let me draw another bar, split it into three. So 10% is £12, and this would be 30%. So I've had started with 100% and I've added 30%, 100% plus 30%, that's 100%. So the sum is now just 130%, of 120 will give us the answer. We know it's going to be 312s plus 120. We can do the same trick we did in example one. We can change the percentage to a decimal by dividing by 100. So it's 1.3 times 120. And again, this 1.3 would be what we call our multiplier. And that would give us 156. So, what we're doing here is we're changing our percentage change problem into a problem where we times by a decimal. So here's how we always do it. To find the multiplier, we we'll always start with 100%. And if we're doing an increase, we add the percent. And then divide by 100 to change it into a decimal. And if it's a decrease question going down like a sale, then we start with 100%, this time we take away the percentage, and then we also divide by 100 to change it into a decimal. Let's show you a few wordy problems that show you this. So, what the problems percentage change using a multiplier? Example one, a dress costing £90 is reduced by 20% in a sale. Calculate the sale price. So step one, you want to do your multiplier. So I'm starting with 100%. It's in the sale, is going down, so I'm taking away 20%. That leaves me with 80% 
of the original place left. Change that to a decimal, so 80 divided by 100. Our multiplier is 0 0.8, that's our key number. So now just step two, I want to do 80% of 90 pound, or I want to do 0 0.8, because that's 80%, times 90. I can just do all that sum straight away in a calculator, or 9 times 8 is 72. So it's 72 pound. Let's do one further example. So example two says, a garage has 12% fitting fee to the cost of a new set of tires. A new set of tires costs 135 pounds and 99 pence. How much does it cost to buy a set of tires and have them fitted? So step one, we need our multiplier. So we'll start with 100% always, and this time it's adding 12%, so I'm adding 12% to give me 112%. And we change that to a decimal by dividing by 100, which is 1.12. So there's our key number, 1.12. So we now just need to work out 112% of 135 pound and 99 pence. So step two. 135.99 is the price times 1.12 our multiplier. And we can just get a calculator and work that out. 152.31 to the nearest penny. And we're done. This has been Claire and Maths and today we've been looking at how to do a percentage change using the multiplier method. Come back next time to see how we apply that to a percentage change over time and do appreciation, depreciation and compound interest. Thank you very much, take care and goodbye.